show you a part of our house that reflects who I am. This is my refrigerator. It seems that what someone decides to display on their refrigerator door is a great window into their world. I'm not one of those people who have a blank door. It is splashed with lots going on and lots of reminders of those near and dear to my heart. It holds memories of the many ways we've celebrated through our days and we've found ways to live life to the fullest. For as long as I can remember, I have relished creating and taking opportunities to celebrate the people in my life through events both regular, birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays, and less predictable ones, sidewalk chop congratulations, or hanging Christmas in July stockings in the woods. As I've shared these ideas with friends, both literally, by targeting them for celebration, and in conversation, discussing both past ideas and future ideas that I have, many have later told me how they have fit these ideas into their own lives and families. Some have commented that I should consider putting my ideas into writing. And I took them up on a suggestion and have written a book called Celebrate Today. Through the seasons each year, we all mark different celebrations in our lives. Birthdays come with balloons and streamers. Christmas just wouldn't be the same if we didn't have stockings hung. An Easter morning is a joyous time of filling baskets with eggs and bringing flowers to decorate a cross. Rites of passage are created and memories are in the making. When we regard an event as important, we create ceremonies. Ceremonies are repeated from year to year to recognize the significant days in our lives. They're ways to stop and to consider that life is a gift and to remember this with intention and gratitude. Children love ritual, and honestly, I've found that as an adult, I do too. Given the opportunity, it seems that we can all rise to the occasion. It's been fun to establish traditions and celebrations each year that call out the child in us all to say, do it again, as we look forward to them and they become regular customs in our family calendar. Some are more fancy and elaborate, while some are regular and mundane things. For children, every day holds potential for celebration and ceremony. The first day of spring, the first snowfall, a harvest moon, a song, a poem read aloud, or just a special snack. It doesn't take much to create a celebration that affirms life and makes us just want to all shout, hooray! This book, Celebrate Today, is a way for you to look at some of the rituals that have begun to take root in our family in hopes that they will spark some ideas for you to begin to create your own celebrations through the year that you will have the joy of unpacking year after year. I've tried to outline some of the celebrations that have fit our family and have helped us to mark certain days and seasons. I've outlined daily and monthly and seasonal ways to celebrate. These celebrations are a unique work of art in the way that each family collection of celebrations will look different. Individual families will have traditions through the year that are special to the people touched by them year after year. This is certainly not meant to be a cookie cutter approach but rather a gathering of bits and pieces along the way that match the personality and portrait of your family. My hope is that this book will help you pick a few things that you think would be a get good fit for you, and find joy in making it your own, and see if it stands the test of time to decide if it's going to indeed become your own tradition. Remember, it's never too late to begin something new and to join in the fun. So welcome to the party. Celebrate today.